Hi everyone and welcome to this video with me Sammy. In this video I'm taking a look at the Roland 521 VCF. This is a dual filter module so you have two filters here with an identical set of features. Now the System 500 is based on the older System 700 and 100M which were produced in the late 70s early 80s and according to Roland's website these are actually designed with Maleco and built in Japan. Now, I haven't been able to find exact specs on the filter but it sounds like it's a 24 dB roll off. Now, as for the features, you have an optional high pass filter you can switch in with two different fixed points and a generous three modulation inputs, two of them with built in attenuation. Now, each filter has its own set of three inputs, which you can mix with these faders, and these are all summed into the filter, so this is essentially a three channel mixer per filter as well. And not only can you patch and mix audio through this, but you can also patch and mix CV. Now, the CV signals will be affected by the filter as well, it'll act on it like a slew, and I'll actually show you how that sounds a little later on. And finally, the filters do self oscillate as well. So that's it for the features. Let's get into some sound examples now. So here I'm just going to do some simple filter sweeps so you can hear the general character of the filter. And that was at zero resonance, so let's crank the resonance a little bit. And halfway. I'm just going to crank it up some more. Now that crackling you heard there is not coming from me clipping my sound card or anything like that. So next I'll show you the high pass filters. And you'll also notice that this is the kind of filter where if you turn up the resonance, you start to lose bass. Now I love the resonance on this filter, so let's listen to some acid sounds. Okay, so let's check out some filter FM on this module. So I've got the resonance up at full, so we're self oscillating. And I'm going to use this modulation input here to sweep the filter automatically with this LFO. Now, as for the other modulation input, I'm feeding that with a sine wave from the Syntec E330, and I'm going to steadily raise the course tuning on that. And let's take a listen. Here's some more filter FM. This is a slightly different setup where I've got the math controlling the pitch of the Roland analog VCO. And I'm going to use the sawtooth wave here.
So some really cool Vocaloid kind of sounds there. So next we're going to move on to perhaps one of my favorite sounds this module can make, which is a bubbly bass line with high resonance and the filter cutoff being controlled with the Metropolis sequencer. Here's my attempt at pinging the filter. So now I'm going to show you what this module does to CV signals when you plug them into the inputs. So I've got a sequence coming up from the Metropolis right now, straight into the oscillator. I'm going to unplug that and put that into the filter. And then plug the filter back into the oscillator's key input. Okay, so being a dual filter module, one of the great things about it is you can use this for stereo patches quite easily. Now I've got a patch here using both filters, and each filter is being fed with its own pulse wave, which is also being modulated. Now I've got the key input of the filter routed to the maths, and what this allows me to do is control the cutoff of both filters simultaneously with one control on the maths. Now I only actually need one cable to do this, because the key input on filter 1 is normalized to filter 2. That's a nice touch, and it's the same with the Roland oscillators as well. So let's take a listen now to this patch. Okay, so this patch is the same idea, but this time I've got some FM waveforms coming in from the E330, because it sounds mint. Okay, so I'll wrap up this review with my general thoughts. The build quality is great. Everything I said about the Roland envelope, which I said in my last video, applies here as well. So the pots feel great, the switches feel great, and these sliders are a little wobbly. Now aside from the sound, which I love personally, I like having the three signal inputs and the three modulation inputs. It's just really convenient. So that's it for my overview of the module. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to support this channel, there's a link in the description below. So thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Take care.